Hi there. Welcome to your quick bite of cloud engineering. I'm Laura, and today we're here to chat about mutable and immutable infrastructure. So what exactly does mutable mean? Well, mutable means changeable or something that can and will change. So mutable infrastructure is infra that you can and will likely want to change. Immutable infrastructure, on the other hand, is unchanging, meaning that you'll replace it rather than update or upgrade it in place. Your computer that you use for general tasks is immutable because you'll update the operating system and applications rather than replace the machine every time you need to update it. Your containers, on the other hand, are likely immutable as we generally don't modify existing containers. Unless you're taking one container and SSHing into it to debug, it's much simpler and more repeatable to update the image and then replace the container itself. Mutable infrastructures often have been used in traditional data center environments where your team might own various complete components like full servers or other physical hardware that may take long timeframes to replace. As a concept, it's been around longer than immutable infrastructure because no one wanted to go through an entire provisioning process for every change when that process could stretch over multiple days or even weeks, depending on data center availability. As a result, people built tools to manage configuration of multiple servers, tools that would log in and run upgrades in place, we had scheduled downtime windows where you knew servers in an area of the data center would be offline while scripts to update those systems ran. Many of these kinds of activities are still in place today for folks managing the physical hardware like data center providers. However, when we started having things like virtualization, which led to virtual machines and all, provisioning times for end users dropped because we were no longer dealing with physical hardware. In addition, the move to virtual systems that already had interfaces underneath to manage them led to people building APIs and other interfaces that enabled automation. And since we weren't constantly requesting or destroying physical hardware, it became much easier to make virtual systems ephemeral. Why does that matter to cloud engineering? Most, if not all, of the best practices for cloud native architectures rely on immutable infrastructure. In the more complex world of distributed concurrent computing, the reliability of immutable infrastructure is critical. You avoid configuration drift among servers, which we'll talk about soon here on QuickBytes. You duplicate systems, which leads to redundancy that drives an assurance of uptime. You reduce downtime on upgrades because of that redundancy. You can move from one provider to another because everything is replaceable, nothing is unique, and everything has a defined, known good configuration and state. In the end, everything we do with cloud engineering, from automation to deployments to upgrades, is built on the backbone of the concept of immutable infrastructure. This has been your quick bite of cloud engineering for this week. If you like this video, please share it. Sharing it and liking and subscribing, of course, helps out our channel and helps me make more videos like this for you. Also, if you wanna learn about something specific, leave me a note down in the comments. I do read those or open an issue in our GitHub repo that I'm linking in the description. I'll be back in just two more weeks for another quick bite. Take care. Bye. If you have a topic you would love to have us cover here on Pulumi TV, all you have to do is go to github.com slash Pulumi slash Pulumi TV. Thanks so much.